Hi all, in this video, we will see how to set document properties in Bowie process. Uh, these are all the places where we can set the document properties in Bowie process. The set properties step, uh, set document, uh, document property map function, custom scripting step, and XSLT transformation step. So I have created a test process to demonstrate uh, with few of the examples. In the test process, uh, I have demonstrated how to set the document properties using the set properties step and XSLT transformation step. I'll try to create another video uh, how to set the document properties using the set document property map function and the custom scripting step. So in this video, we will see uh, like how to set the document properties in the set property step and XSLT transformation step. So this is a this is a test process which I have created. And this is a test data. It is an XML file with 26 records. And in this set properties step, uh, I'm going to configure the document properties related to the disk directory to send the file to the disk directory. So select the document property. And under the connector, select this connector and select the property file name. I have configured the file name with the test doc. And similarly, configure another doc, uh, this document property, uh, which is directory. And configure the directory with the static value of work because I'm going to send the, uh, send the file to the work directory. So here I'm not configuring any directory since I'm sending it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have configured the disk directory using the document property in the set property shape. And in the operation, these are the file naming options. Create unique file name if file exists. Uh, and I have used this option. And I'm testing this process. So the file is being placed into the uh, work directory. And it wrote the name, uh, file name as testdoc8, uh, even though I have set it to testdoc because I have used the operation create unique file name if file exists. And since I have already tested this process a few times before uh, making this video, that is the reason uh, uh, it has wrote the file name as uh, testdoc8 uh, since we are using the create unique file name option. And now we will see uh, how to set the document properties using the uh, XSLT transformation step in the data process sheet. So this is the same test data which I have used it before. It has 26 records. And in this uh, set property shape, we have few dynamic document uh, properties which are used in the uh, XSL, XSLT transformation step. So in this uh, data process, we have configured XSLT transformation. And this is where uh, uh, the set, set DDP, using the set DDP, using uh, this is how we will set the dynamic document uh, property using the XSLT transformation. So uh, we have configured variable name equal to record count. And we have set that as select equal to boomi hyphen set DDP. And this particular DDP will give the number of records that are present in that particular document. So since I have, it will count that number of records and it will give the uh, it will set that record count in this particular ddp record count property so this is how uh, this particular uh, ddp uh, is configured the document property is configured in the xslt transformation step and we will see uh, the record count 
after this step. Uh, like I have used a notify shape to get the record count. So this is a DDP uh, record count, which was set in the XSLT transformation step. Uh, so as I mentioned, I have 26 records in this document. Um, once I run this process, we need to see uh, 26 as a record count for this property. So 26 records. So this is how uh, it is uh, set in doc, uh, dynamic document property is set in the XSLT transformation step in the data process shape. Thank you.